We are going to make a stem and leaf chart, and we are going to use Excel to help us do that. I have here a list of ages, and I want to make a stem and leaf chart on them. So I am going to highlight them, and then I can come over here to sort. I can either choose to sort them from the smallest to the largest or the largest to the smallest. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick smallest to largest. Oh, it did not uh, work quite right. Smallest to largest and the 25 uh, is in there. I think I know why. Um, I have in here my data has headers. So let me unclick that. So with that top one up there, that is why it came up there and stayed there and did not go in order. So now I can get that. So if that error happens to you, that's probably why. Of course, you could just stick it in where you want to. Um, but now I see I have ages 17 to 69. So I would want my stem. So my stem would be the tens place. So I'm gonna put tens place. And then my leaves would be the ones place. Now it's kind of covering that up. So what I would tend to do is stick, uh, highlight leaves and come up here and choose this left adjust. And stems, I would come up here and use the right adjust. Now, my stems are one, two, three, four, five, six. And notice, even though there's no one in their 50s, I still have to have the five. If the 17 was not here, pretend it wasn't there, I would not have the one. I would only have the two through six. So you don't have to put a one in a zero if there isn't one. So you don't have to put it at the beginning and the end. So I don't need a seven in here because I started at two and ended at six. But I, don't, I do need the five in here. Now I can either leave these centered or I could adjust them to the right or whatever I wanted to do. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of these and I'm gonna choose this little square thing here and it gives you a border and I'm gonna choose a right border. So it gives me a right line along here. Now in these cells, I'm gonna write the ones. So I have a 21 and then I'm gonna hit the right arrow, a 23 and the right arrow, a 24, another 24, a 25, 26, and 27. And then for the threes, I have a 32, a 35, a 36, 38, sure I got all these, seven of those I did. Okay, and the fours, there was a 42, a 45, a 46, 48, another 48, and another 48. So there were three of those. And then there was a 61 and a 69. Now, these are taking up a lot of space. So to cause them to take less space, I'm gonna highlight the columns and then the little cracks in between, and you can see how the arrow goes both ways as you're moving your mouse. I can change all of them to be the same width. And remember, that's what we wanna do in a stem and leaf chart. We want all of them to be the same width and we want them to be lined up in columns, but we don't, want col uh, we don't want commas and we don't really want these boxes here. Um, so I'm going to um, highlight these right over to the longest one. So if the longest one had been the four, I would have still gone over to the longest one. I'm gonna choose this and I'm gonna do the bottom border. Now, if I print this, these lines won't show up. Now, if I want to print them now, uh, if 
I want to highlight it from my spreadsheet and I want those to be white. I can instead, I can kind of highlight all of this and I can right click and um, do format cells and go to borders and I can change the borders and you can change it to whatever color you want. So if I don't want them to show up, I'm gonna put white and I'm gonna click these internal ones. I want the outside ones to stay like I have them. So I just click the internal ones. Oh, it changed those because those are internal too. But I think I can come back and put the bottom border on. And I can come back here and I can put the right border back on. So of course I probably should have waited till the end to do that. So now it doesn't have the, the lines. Uh, they don't show up and I can highlight that and uh, snip and paste it into a Word document or whatever I wanna do with it. And I have a perfectly aligned stem and leaf chart.